Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, Eha Palat, back again here with another video. I got a product review for you guys today, and yes, it is on another screen, but let me tell you, this screen is a little bit more different than your traditional doubled in screen. I'll tell you about that in a second, but first, if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that thumbs up button and the bell button to get notified every time I put out a new video. There's two main selling points on this guy right here. The first one is obviously the wireless CarPlay. If you have an Android, it is wired for the Android Auto. You get phone link and uh, AirPlay as well. And the second selling point on this is that literally anyone could do it. It takes less than five minutes, so you don't gotta take it to an automotive place, spend hundreds of dollars just to get this installed. You don't gotta remove any panels in your car. Literally, you just mount this where you want it, plug everything in, and you're ready to go. It's a plug and play screen, and that's what I love about it. It's, it's so simple to install, anyone could do it. All right guys, so when you purchase this, what comes in the box? Obviously the screen itself, it comes with two different mounts. One to mount it on your windshield or if you wanna mount it on the dash, just like I did. It comes with a suction cup gasket, it comes with a user manual of course. It comes with the power cord that plugs into the cigarette lighter to give it power. And it comes with a 3.5 millimeter audio cable to get the audio from this to come out of your car speakers. Here are a couple of the features that come on the screen here. It's got an SD card reader. It's got, an, like I said, an HD 1080p screen. You got your FM radio. It's got phone link. If you need a backup camera, you could hook it up to this. Voice controls, auxiliary input, and your USB input. So I got this installed in the vehicle, my Mercedes C-Class. Uh, I found the perfect spot for it. So if you guys got a similar vehicle like this, hopefully this will help you. And for anyone who does have a Mercedes, they know that the aftermarket screens made for the Mercedes C-Classes are literally $800 and up. So this is, a, is an alternative way to get a screen in your car without breaking the bank. I believe these go for about $300 Canadian. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it. I've had no issues with this. I've been using it for a couple weeks. Let's get you guys in the car right now. I'll show you guys how it looks and how it all works. So here's the screen installed in my Mercedes C-Class. And for those of you guys who do have the Mercedes, this is a perfect spot to install this screen. Yes, you don't got access to the factory screen back there. I never use it, so I don't think it's a big deal. And I got the screen plopped up here. It's mounted, it's secured. I drive all the time, go over bumps. It never moves, doesn't rattle, doesn't make any noise. Here's the side of the screen. You can see it's not very bulky. You got your mic input there. You got your SD card, your uh, backup camera to plug it in there. Got the cigarette lighter power cord there, as well as the aux cable. And then I got the USB cord here coming out of the side. And that's just to charge my phone if I need to. But that is how it looks. And I got the two cords running from behind the screen right here, comes to the side, and then it goes into my glove box. Open my glove box, don't mind the tape job. I had to tape up the cords. And then one goes into the cigarette lighter, and then the aux cable obviously goes into the aux port there close that up so you get two wires that are showing all the time but still it looks very clean um, at least in this vehicle I'm sure every vehicle is gonna look a little different but I'm sure you could hide the wiring if that really bothers you but uh, yeah this this screen just mounted up perfectly here let me start it up sure. okay guys we are going to power this guy on put my key in the ignition and there is the loading screen. You could also customize this before you place your order to your vehicle's logo, which is pretty awesome. This is the main screen here. It's gonna auto connect to my phone here for the CarPlay. And it does that every time I turn my vehicle on, it will automatically connect. It takes maybe 10 seconds and there it is. It's, it's up, ready to roll, CarPlay is going. Here's my phone. It says it's connected to CarPlay. Nothing is connected to my phone, so there it is guys there's no issues with the screen no legs the touch is very responsive um, the only main thing that 
I found that's an issue with this screen is when you're playing a song and you go to the next song, there's maybe a three second delay um, when you're switching the song. Like the, the previous song will still be playing and um, for maybe two, three seconds before the next song starts playing, which it's not an issue, but it obviously does change songs whenever you click on it right away. Like it, the touch is very responsive. There's no lag at all. Uh, if you want to go back to the home screen from here, there's no buttons on the actual screen. So whenever you touch it, you see this little icon pop up. You click that and you can control it. Go to the home screen here. You could turn the volume up or down. You could also mute it. So you go to the home screen just like that. And there you go. So this is the main home screen here. You also got a button at the top here. If you tap it once, it will mute the system tap it again it will unmute it and if you long press it it will reset the system for whatever reason so you got your carplay uh, logo up there uh, bluetooth your brightness up here i'm not sure what th this does here oh it changes the background here um there's a few different backgrounds you could there's a help icon here just tells them to email them there's the home icon so I'll explain these icons here. They're pretty self-explanatory though. There's the CarPlay, it's called iPlay. Uh, if you wanna go back to it, you just click it, it'll go back, uh, back to the home. Next to it, you got the Android Auto, you got Apple AirPlay, you got Auto Link, Display Off, which will just turn the screen off. You got Bluetooth connectivity, you got USB, you got an SD card, your radio, and a couple settings to tinker with, nothing much. Uh, nothing much really in settings to tinker around with just a few things it's got built-in Wi-Fi here um, this is for your backup camera you could set park line all that stuff there a couple things for Android Auto iPhone uh, language device speaker you could factory reset it and it'll show you the system version there so there's not much to the home screen that's all it really is the main thing for this is obviously the CarPlay and the Android Audio um, did I say Android Audio? Android Auto. Um, <laughs> but those are the main features for it. You only got two little uh, wires here that show in the vehicle. And everything's pretty much tucked away. Really good. Everything works as it should. No complaints with this thing. It looks very sleek. It looks like it's actually made for this vehicle. The way it sits and how it fits so perfectly where it is. So I don't know what more I could say about this thing other than that, that it, it works absolutely awesome. No issues, you got your phone, music, GPS, everything now on the screen to control and zero issues at all. So guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I don't think there's anything else to say about this screen. If you guys have any questions, you could leave them down in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you guys. If you guys also have this screen, let me know what you think about it. And uh, I'd, be, I'd be happy to hear what you guys think about it because I want to know. Um, I've seen reviews online. Everyone seems to love it. So you can't go wrong with this. Go check them out, guys. www.carpuride.com Go browse all their products. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Subscribe if you guys are new hit that thumbs up button. My name is Ehab Halat and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.